this up. Don't mind that heaven is literally behind me. I don't know why it's so bright. Basically, in this video, I'm going to be recreating Ryan Ross makeup looks. I've done a lot of his looks before, like at school or just for fun at home, but never for a YouTube video, so that's what I'm going to do. I've basically never really done anything for a YouTube video because this is my second upload. <laughs> with me it is not my time right now i'm going to be looking up in spell so let's go on pinterest let's go to the pin to rest uh. whoopsies excuse me i'm gonna do the purple look first so it's like the swirly and then i'm gonna do the red oh my gosh are these tree branches or is it like the thing that uh harry potter got struck by oh lightning is it lightning or yeah, i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna do this one i think the purple one and the red one is equally easy unless you're doing the red one with the birds i've done that twice and it's not difficult but it does take more time because you want to be precise with it i think i did a really good job here are photos from when i did that i know i kind of ate it up no not kind of i did i devoured it. i'm going to pin my hair back let's split it in the middle let's not forget my roots i used to always have a side part but then i got bangs which was a life save screenshots my forehead's not that bad like big foreheads are not ugly it's just crazy how big it is like wow like i have a lot of forehead uh trigger warning this palette this is not only a trigger warning for the creator but also because of the fa many phases you probably had have going through this palette the glitter from here is from when i went to the water parks concert and i put and i gave myself like star eyes technically my sister helped um i need to wash this beauty blender the amount of times that this has rolled on my floor is crazy with my luck my skin isn't doing too bad but that's just really gross i need a it, it's not even just about, about the acne it's about what i'm putting on my freaking face so i start off with this elf 16 hour camo concealer it's winter break i'm just like not in that acting moment i'm kidding once an actor always an actor <laughs> you said you had a musical theater kit you th you had a theater kit phase no it was not a phase <laughs> so um i'm such a youtuber stop elf i think oh where did i go hello can you focus do i have to talk like this the whole video for it to focus because that is not that pretty i'm not saying i'm ugly i'm just like like do you guys want to see this the whole time but basically, I put this on over here. I use it like a setting. Uh. Oh my god. Like as the base. This like dries fast. So I have to like, like literally beat my face like right away. And my eyeballs hurt from doing that. Okay, that actually really does hurt. Like I'm not even, like I'm being, you know, beauty is pain. And the beauty is Ryan Ross makeup. My favorite look to do is probably the birds just because it's really fun. But the first look I've ever done was the purple. And it was for my school spirit week last year. Or was it like, no, it was this year, like February. And the spirit day that I did it for was like whimsical. Like people showed up in like, with like fairy wings and like green skirts to look like they're like blending in with the forest and like fairies. But I was like, no, I'm going to be an elf. And that elf is Ryan Ross. Does that look good? This looks different from my mirror that's in front of me. I have one of those like ginormous mirror closets. I also have an another mirror right here. Yeah, this helps a lot more. Let's say you want to be a smurf and you want to paint your face blue. Face paint? Mm, mm, it's not that. It's it's not the greatest because it like chips off and stuff. I think I'm just going to have to be like right here for now. This is the only way it's focusing. And this is probably honestly better because you can see it more better. But, like, the, the fact that my forehead is so long that it's getting cut off is, like, embarrassing. So, I'm about to unleash my inner artist. And I'm going to use this purple. Which purple do I usually use? Wait, let me. Yes, this purple right here. Is that even the purple? Why does it look like I haven't used it before? I've definitely used that. But I'm going to dab it with this brush that's, like, been on my floor and, like, rotted on my floor for many days before. Because I don't know how to take care of my skin. I actually tricked you guys. This is not... A Ryan Ross makeup video. This is actually a Barney cosplay. Once I've gotten the purple all over my face or like the base color, I like to go in with like a black and like put it like on my eyes and like in like the nose bridge. Oh, and then he puts it like right here a little bit. As you can see, there are some like little like black black parts that he put. So it's not like just purple. 
and it looks brighter on camera it looks like barney purple on camera but it's just your average purple it's winter break i've probably mentioned that like 20 times before um i'm kind of excited for the new semester but not that excited because that means i just like what do you mean we're halfway done like all my senior friends are going to graduate and i'm going to rot and like cry and then i'm gonna be a senior but that's like my friends used to always be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're going to be seniors in two years. I'm a junior, by the way, so like this would be in sophomore year, or the end of freshman year. They were probably like, oh my gosh, guys, we're basically going to be seniors. I'm like, no, like we still have a lot of time. Like, don't even think about it. And now we have like five months. I'm still going to say what I've been saying. Let's not think about it. Like, what do you mean next year I'm going to start having to like think about college? I should already be thinking about colleges, but I don't. Not that I don't care enough but i'm not concerned enough that's basically the same thing my point is i feel i just always think everything's gonna be okay which is good but counselors i feel like my counselors are like let's i'm saying counselors like i have like 20 million because i need that much help and i feel like my counselor is like let's be realistic here not saying you can't think positive but at the same time it's like reality check because life is not perfect it's not let me do my eyebrows real quick I have like this like pudding thing that like you put in it like it's like a gel for your eyebrow. You guys know what I want like really badly, like really awesomely badly. The a fever you can't sweat out box set. And I've been asking I've been asking my mom to get me a job, to like help me find a job, and she was like she was at first she was like okay because I'm not gonna say where she works, but she works where Okay, I'm just gonna say where she, she works in retail, so that's not like doxing, that's just like the whole, that's just like an umbrella. Um, and basically, you know, retail gets desperate for workers during the holiday times. And I'm like, hey, mother, um, since it's about to, this was like before Thanksgiving break, this was like November 1st or something, probably even October. I was like, hey, um, the holidays are coming up, I would love to get a job you know at your work somewhere because i know you talk about how like it's stressful during the holidays and hey i'm down plus she works at a specific like store where like i will not bump into people that i know from school perfect okay i think the eyeshadow part is done and i'm just gonna go into the eyeliner what a beautiful wedding what a beautiful wedding you should have said oh i messed up okay i'm just not gonna say <laughs> That's the first line. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be clown. Okay, so this part is done, and now for the super fun, awesome, swirly. This is not a tutorial video, by the way. I don't know. You probably, like, assume so, it, like, if you got to this point. You can just watch what I do, and me probably zoom in more. I think that should help. Um, but what you want to do is you want to... I'm just going to make this into a tutorial, because why not? You want to do this. <laughs> you want to do this like upside down triangle thing i usually don't do it in this step i kind of just like drag it down myself but i'm just trying to do like this like specific step to like explain how the swirl is supposed to go from here you want to swirl it the direction of your ear so you want to go it like that instead of like that This eyeliner is honestly not the best. I'm not going to say the name of the eyeliner because I don't want to bash a company. But the flaw with this eyeliner is the tip doesn't work. Like I have to full on do this instead of this, which is like really inconvenient. So bear with me. <laughs> the thing about the swirl is it's not supposed to be 
round. It's supposed to be like a square swirl and you'll see it once I've done it. So I'm editing the video right now and the audacity I had to be like, oh, you'll just see when I do it. And it didn't even catch in frame. Like I didn't even get me doing that part of the makeup on frame. <sighs> I'm sorry, but it's kind of self-explanatory. So in order to get the stripes that he has on his, on the makeup look, sometimes at the end of your eyebrow brush, it'll have this like shaped brush. So you probably just own this type of brush on its own. And you want to take this white concealer or yeah, and you want to put it on there. And then you're going to use this to make the lines. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Shorts are mommy, you're already the voice inside my head. Miss you, miss you. My sister's friend is thinking about buying us Blink 182 concert tickets, and I hope they end up buying it because I literally am so down to go. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Pierce the Veil is the openers, so like that's like insane, that's incredible. Like. Of course I'm down to go to freaking that. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. That's like how I got into Blink-182 because that song is like kind of like an emo meme, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how like, can you feel my heart is like a meme or like fall for you. Fall for you is such a good song. Like I'm sad it's a meme. Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. But it's so good. It's so uh, good. Like my friend was talking about the song and she's not emo. But she was talking about it and I was like, it's actually really good. You should listen to it. And she was like, okay. And she listened to it and she was like, it's like kind of, and she said it was like kind of weird. Not like the song is weird, but it's like actually hearing it without like the emo cover. And I'm like, yeah. Yesterday was Otto Wood's birthday from water parks he's the drummer i hope he had an amazing beautiful amazing day his girlfriend posted him saying happy birthday obviously and i want what they have they're so cute i love them i'm saying they're so cute i love them as if like they're not like a lot of years older than me <laughs> whoopsies sorry <laughs> sponsored it on accident but it's okay this is the purple look okay now round two freaking the red look that's kind of sad i have to say goodbye to this this is how much time i have on my hands i'm not that productive honestly i've been needing to put meaning to put like stickers on my macbook so let's put that there hopefully i don't like forget it once school starts imagine i'm in my english class and i pull out with with this <laughs> pull out and i pull up with this that's what she said it's like sizzling can you hear that probably not it kind of stopped oh my gosh that reminded me of that one tiktok pov that was trending a while ago that was like doc is she gonna make it and the doctor was like probably not it was like a big meme this is so heartbreaking to take off because i just did it for oh my gosh wait con new like contour method and it's off y'all better not let this video flop thank you i would have to take it off eventually anyways like because i'm gonna need to sleep this is the next look that we're doing same thing again the white stuff on my face 
guys. It's makeup, I promise. I know it's sad that I never gave a damn about the weather and I never gave a damn about Oh, how it's been so long. We're so sorry we've been gone. Busy writing songs for you. You don't have to worry cause we're still the same band. You don't have to worry, you don't have to worry, you don't. This red and then also some of this. This like makes it a little darker. Or I think I've used this before as well. This one's like a little shimmery version of this. And he kind of like drags it like down. Like he like does it like this and then he like it goes down there like that. Tomorrow or tomorrow I want to make a video where I wake up obviously um and I you know do makeup like not like a specific like Ryan Ross look or like emo icon makeup like I'm just gonna do like casual makeup and I'm going to go outside believe it or not and plant flowers plant some roses because uh valentine's day is coming up i know it's december but you know plants take a while to grow and i'm gonna make flowers for my friends um i'm gonna make emo bouquets you, have you guys seen like the memes where it's like oh send this to a friend who deserves like a sharp bouquet and it's like it's like a, a photo of a bouquet, bouquet, bouquet. I don't freaking know how to say it. I'm gonna be honest. Bouquet, bouquet, bouquet. Okay, have you guys seen the TikToks where it's like, oh, send this to your friend who deserves a shark bouquet, and then it's like an image of a bouquet and it has a bunch of like sharks photoshopped onto it. So I want to do that, but with like random emo people, like in real life, like it's gonna be a real bouquet. I know it's sad that I never gave a damn about the weather and I never gave a damn about Gonna buy a cheap bouquet before it dies on the display. I love that song. Oh my gosh, the cheap bouquet by freaking pierce the veil is so the intro is so good i would play it but i don't want to get a strike the branch lightning bolt things i don't know what they are um this makeup look i've actually not done the other makeup look i done before but not this one so i really have to have my mirror and like looking at both of these at the same time <laughs> it off he kind of just like ends that line over here and so that's what i'm trying to you know do as well like what we did earlier okay have you guys seen that video of ariana grande doing her eyeliner it's like insane I actually really like Ariana Grande by the way like genuinely like not like oh I listen to some of her stuff like I had a phase and I have like a wall like dedicated to her um and I have like a lot of her perfumes and I can literally sing every one of her songs like they, they're all memorized it'll be a while since I've last listened to her and then I'll like play some of her music and like it just it comes back like I it's like oh I, I never forgot <laughs> This eyeliner is so hard to use because the tip doesn't work. How am I supposed to do mini swirls by literally like using the thick part of the eyeliner? It's not even focusing and I don't even care. I feel like, am I like not in frame? I'm sorry if I was doing this whole thing like out of frame. Makeup is just so random. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's the, this look. It kind of sucks balls. This isn't for a Ryan Ross meet and greet. If I was meeting Ryan Ross, I would take 10 hours on my makeup. I would do it so precise. I would get the most, I would look up best eyeliner to use and buy that. I would go, best 
eyeshadow palette like i would go all out just to see him for like five seconds be like all gone from like me crying before i even like get to him in the meet and greet hey guys i would just like to oh, i would just like to say thank you for watching my video i really 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 appreciate it i hope you can hit that subscribe button like the video and comment follow me i posted i made some tiktoks it was in this makeup look if if you want to see that make sure you're following my tiktok at stupid four um and you guys are probably like oh what about chantal the kid yeah that tiktok account does exist and it's for my twitch streams so yeah i also stream on twitch please watch my streams but yeah have an amazing day or a night or life or whatever so yeah bye but he's gonna come back for 2024 i'm telling you i'm not even just saying that because i'm like delusional it's going to happen and you guys are gonna be like wow you're right yeah exactly he's going to come back he's going to whether it's releasing music or just being more active on social media it's gonna happen and come back to this video and comment oh my gosh you were right or just comment right now oh my gosh you are right because i am so yeah